take time to be holy. Speak off with thy Lord. Abide in him always. And feed on his word. Make friends of God's children. Help those who are weak. Forgetting in nothing. His blessing to seek. Take time to be holy. The world rushes on. Spend much time in secret with Jesus alone. By looking to Jesus, like him thou shalt be. Thy friends, in thy conduct, his likeness shall see. Take time to be holy. Let him be thy guide. And run not before him. Whatever be time, in joy or in sorrow, still follow thy Lord. And looking to Jesus, still trust in his word. Take time to be holy, be calm in thy soul. Each thought and each temper beneath his control. Thus, led by his spirit, the fountains of love, thou shalt. Soon be fitted for service aboard. The righteousness is by faith, walking in the commandment of God. So, if you do that, that's all. Whichever church, immaterial. We don't have the same name as a result, and for and, and in the same way, we don't have the same church. But they were one. Is that not so? Your name is not like my name, but we relate very happily. The name of your church may not be like the name of my church, but we relate very happily. I don't care what church you belong to. As a father, I see Jesus we stand. If I fell to grave, you have been said, you're my brother, so give me your hand, you're my sister, so give me your hand, amen. Let's bow our head and pray. Almighty Father, by faith in Christ we stand. God, we have hope. God, Christianity still has hope. According to your promise and ability. Our lives will be better. Revival surely has come to our church. It has begun and shall continue. God of heaven, dry bones shall rise. Our weaknesses shall be taken away. Whatever has made us dry, whatever has made your church dry, Lord, refreshing is coming. Refreshing has come. The church shall rise again in Jesus' name. We shall hear the praises of God. The testimonies of God, the victories of God, all over the churches, all over the world, in Jesus' name. This is your program of the end time. Revival must come. Revival has come. Thank you, Father, for answering. Thank you, Lord, for doing it. In Jesus' name we pray. You can be seated. Dry bones shall rise. 
Dry hands shall rise again. If I say it, you will shout Amen. Dry hands shall rise again. And these bones stand for the church, stand for you, stand for the ministers in the church, stand for Christianity in the world. The church shall rise again. Yes, believe and watch what the Lord will do in this end time. There is yet a time for God to demonstrate his power. The ministers of the church shall rise again. Yes, for the Lord shall do special work in their lives. He has begun already. They are, they, you see them, they, be, they have begun to rise. Christianity shall shine again. Yes, the heathen shall hear that Jesus is the Lord. You shall hear the testimony in various nations that Christianity has risen again. That the Christianity, true Christianity, has taken over the world again. Let this be so as we have believed, as we have prayed, as we have confessed in Jesus' name. Dry bones shall rise again. In the book of Isaiah, in the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 37, I read from verse 1. Ezekiel chapter 37. We read from verse 1. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about and behold there were very many in the open valley and lo they were very dry the condition of the church in the world maybe the Lord has made revelation unto you concerning his church in this nation in your locality in the world and you look at the condition of the church maybe you yourself belong to the church a particular local church and you see what is going on there you look down to churches in the society and you come to this conclusion they are not only dry but very dry because of what is going on very dry now, maybe you have personal experience with the ministers of the gospel, preachers in the church, preachers in the evangelical church, in the Pentecostal church. You look at all this, you see their lives, you see what they do, you say they are dry, no more than that, very dry. Then you look at believers or church members. You look at Christians, you see them round about from place to place. The story you hear about them, you look at them on the street, you look at them as they go to church on Sundays, on various on various days. You look at their life, you say they are dry, more than that, very dry. Then you come to yourself. You check your life. You see, you look into your life. You say, I'm dry. Very dry. That's the situation actually. That's what Ezekiel saw. The Lord passed him through the valley. He saw 
blood and bones of the children of Israel. They were dry. More than that. Very dry. There was no hope. But see what the Lord said. We will go by what the Lord said. We will follow the program of God. We will believe what God says he will do. Look at it in verse 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, Can these bones live? And I answered, Oh Lord God, thou knowest. Only you can know this. Only you can speak about this. Only you can bring this to pass. Son of man, can this church live? Can people come out of this church for the rapture? Only you, Lord. No. Can, any, can these dry ministers come back to the freshness of Christianity? To the ministers that can produce the fruit of the Christian life that can be presented to God in the rapture? He said, God, only you can know about this. Can say something. Now the Lord is ready for action. God is ready for action. I said God is ready for action. Something is going to happen. In the churches in the world. Something is going to happen. In your denominational church. Something is going to happen. In the lives of these pastors you are seeing. These pastors you see with immorality. These pastors you see taking alcohol. A miracle is coming. A new thing is coming. He said, remember not the former things. Behold, I do a new thing. So God is going to do a new thing. He shall surprise you. See him. Again he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones. And say unto them, O oh, ye dry bones. Hear the word of the Lord. <laughs> Can dry bones hear the word of God? If dry bones will hear the word of God, the churches of God that are present, they shall hear the word of God. If dry bones will hear the word of God, the ministers of these churches, however dry and gone into sin, they shall hear the voice of God. If dry bones can hear the word of God, you are hearing it now. You are hearing it now. And what the word of God will do to dry bones, the word will do in your life. What the word of God will do to these dry bones, it will do in these churches. It will do in this minister. Prophesy unto these dry bones and say unto them, O oh, ye dry bones, hear the word of God. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live, and I will lay sinews upon you, and I will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. The Lord is going to do a new thing. The Lord is going to do a new thing. He is saying revival is coming to these churches. The Lord is the Lord has not finished his work in Catholic Church. Something is going to happen in Catholic Church. I say something is going to happen in Catholic Church. The Lord said, Go and speak that way. Go and prophesy to them. Go and take captive Catholic Church. Thus saith the Lord, a miracle is coming upon you. The power of God will work in among you. The Lord will strike the four corners of the Catholic Church. And there shall arise revival that will get people for heaven. That will get people that believe in Jesus only. That will get people that will be for holiness. That will be for righteousness. Hallelujah! That's what the Lord is saying He will do. The Lord has not finished with Baptist Church. A visitation is coming to Baptist Church. A visitation is coming to Anglican Church. A visitation is coming to the Lutheran Church. A visitation is coming to Assemblies of God. A visitation is coming to Living Faith. A visitation is coming to Redeemed Church. A visitation is coming to Deeper Life. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I am telling you a new thing is coming. God says He will, and you will know that I am the Lord. Is it, do you know Jesus? I said, do you know Jesus? You know that He's the Creator? You know that He's the owner of the
the world giving her all sorts of leader in his hand that the help of me in iron his hand as rivers of water that he can turn it whosoever he will the Lord shall turn it I said the Lord shall turn them I said the Lord shall turn them a new thing is happening you will see it I say you will see it when the Lord when Elisha told the man in whom the king's head lay he said by this time tomorrow a measure of wheat shall be sold for a penny hey, what do you mean by that how he challenged the Lord don't challenge the Lord don't resist his way he said you will know that I am the Lord he said if the law even if the law open the windows of heaven I knew these churches were calling them I knew their rules I knew their traditions how are you thinking it can be done I know how far it go I know what they do I know what they believe I don't know I know what they treat people keep quiet God said he's coming into that place hallelujah now in verse 5 that's what he said the said go unto these bones Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. Not by might, not by power, but by the breath of the Lord, by the Spirit of the Lord. And I will lay sinews upon you, and I will bring a flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and ye shall live and ye shall know that I am the Lord so I prophesied as I was commanded that's my work that's your work just prophesy as you were commanded do as he says how the water will turn to wine is not in your power but all that is in your power do it what is it fill the seven pots with water and leave the rest to God I believe God it shall be so the visitation shall come the transformation shall come the change shall come so I prophesied as I was commanded and as I prophesied there was a noise and behold a shaking and the bones came together bone to his bone is that a miracle yes. the bones of the elbows joined up the bones of the legs fixed up the bones that form the ribs everyone began to come together a power called them to come together a power called them to come together a voice is gone forth uniting the church into unity and this voice is already at work bone will come to bone <laughs> hallelujah may the ways of god you will see members of church of god of these various churches you will see them united i mean the two people original people not unbelievers and fake ones that are among them i'm talking about the true ones their eyes shall open they shall they shall know the lord they shall know that jesus is one that the body of christ is one that the holy spirit is one that we have one hope of our calling that jesus is the lord over the church they shall know that we have one faith they shall know that we have one baptism and one god they shall hear this voice and they shall come together believers shall come together righteousness again shall flourish bone to his bone that's what the Lord says and ye I beheld lo the sinews and the flesh came up upon them and the skin covered them above and there was no breath in them do you see the gradual process of revival do you see the step by step way in which things happen these people mentioned these various churches that are here now wonderful
people from different churches sitting under the same message the word of God shall perform this you see these women that are sitting now they are from different churches but go and watch them they are dressing the same way that's what God can do they are believing the same thing see these men they are all from different churches but they are believing the same thing they are practicing the same thing that's what God will achieve that's what God is doing then he said unto me prophesy unto the wind prophesy son of man and say to the wind thus saith the Lord God come from the four winds O breath and break upon this slain that they may live if it is not God who knows that there are four winds if it is not God he knows all come all the property all the components that will produce life that will produce revival the Lord shall release them upon the earth and break upon this lane that they may live so I prophesy as I was commanded and the breath came into them and they lived and stood up upon their feet an exceeding great army the injury Satan has caused the church he will pay for it and any kind army is rising up I say an end time army is rising up exceeding great army we shall revenge the devil we shall revenge the devil that which he has done against mankind that which he has done against the church scattered the church until we didn't know ourselves we started fighting ourselves we started boxing ourselves wielding ourselves trampling upon ourselves hey satan you did this now we have recovered i say we have recovered the battle is going to be great and we will win i say we will win in the name of Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, Our bones are dried, and our hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts. Is that what you're saying? Christianity has lost it. Maybe you're even saying in this country, Christianity has lost it. Maybe you are saying in the world, oh, Christianity has disappeared. Did you not say so? When Samson was taken away by the Philistines, didn't the Israelites say, oh, our hope is gone. Our deliverer is gone. There's one more chance for, for Samson. One more chance. Then the rapture shall take place. One more chance for revival. One more chance for exploit. We shall do one more exploit and then the rapture shall come. The Lord is scattering the church for exploit. The Lord is scattering the people for exploit. The Lord is scattering the army for exploit. Let those on the member of the army raise up their hands. Let the devil know them. Hey, let the devil know. The Lord is gathering them for exploit. Final exploit. Everybody say final exploit. Final exploit. Then we shall go home. I said then we shall go home. Get ready for final exploit. Are you ready? Are you ready? It's a new, a new life is taking over now. A new gathering is taking over now. The Lord is the one raising up this army. Say, therefore, don't think that we have been defeated finally. We shall rise. Rejoice not over me, oh my enemy. Though I fall, I shall rise. The righteous shall fall seven times. Yes, 
shall he lie where is this good news to you something good will happen to your denominational church something good will happen to your pastor some wonderful revelations will come upon your general overseer praise the lord that's what the lord is saying therefore prophesy and say unto them thus saith the lord god behold my oh be all my people i will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of israel you are in captivity you say your thought is your your hope is gone they have taken you to babylon now you say oh where is the hope anymore the, the captivity is very strong it's like you are now buried you say our hope is gone you know when i read this scripture i remembered a miracle the lord did in KB said we were praying for deliverance healing miracles deliverance while prayer was going on the power of God descended upon a particular woman and what the woman saw she saw herself in the village she saw that she was inside a coffin that they had dug the grave and put lower the cut the curtain the coffin is that lowered it into the grave but something happened she ah the coffin opened she came out of the coffin eh? okay there were chains in her hands and legs the chains were broken so ah, what's happening what's happening so it was when we said the final in jesus name we pray everybody said amen she came up to us what's happening eh what's happening here oh i've come out of my grave i have come out of my grave melt away the scales in their eyes shall fall down then will i call the apostle they shall go for a renewed commission what would thou have me to do lord a new assignment will be given to them there's hope <laughs> i said there's hope who told you that you're going to hell you think that all this prayer you've been praying going on here to send the power of deliverance to your life deliverance is coming salvation is coming redemption is coming yes that's what the lord is saying to the children of israel and ye shall know that i am the lord when i have opened your graves oh my people and brought you up out of your grave and shall put my spirit in you and ye shall live and i shall place you in your own land then shall ye know that i the lord have spoken it and perform it saith the lord give a thank offering to the lord thank you thank you thank you Amen. can you see the future hope 
for the church? Can you see the future hope for the ministers of the gospel? Can you see the future hope for your life? Then, there's something God wants us to do. To enter into this plan. Look at it. In the book of 2 Chronicles. Chapter 7. 2 Chronicles. Chapter 7. Verse 13. And 14. The Lord says here. If I shut up heaven. That. There be no rain. Oh. If I command the locusts. To devour the land. Oh. If I send pestilence among my people. If my people. Which are called by my name. Shall humble themselves. And pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their love. Simple man of God, your ministry is lost, you are in dry land, things are dry around you. Captivity is over you. The Lord is promising that there is hope. The Lord is saying he will raise you, will raise you up again. The Lord is saying anointing is coming. He said he will do a new thing in your ministry. But then he says, in that condition, you were dry because I met it so. I allowed it so. I allowed the devil to do what he was doing on you. Wow! You went off. You sinned. You rebelled. You followed the way of evil. You didn't hear me. You didn't seek me. You went your own way. You were looking for your own thing. But now, if you, you that are called by my name, will humble yourself humility is the first mark it is the first thing God demonstrated when he came into the world and the first thing he expects from you when he came into the world he was born in a house where animals were kept the door was not a was not a high door. The door enough for animal to enter, enough for sheep, for gods to enter. When that was done, when he was born, he was laid in a manger. The container that the food of animals were put in. No human being, including the children of mad women, have gone into this condition. No human being. That is a humility. The Creator God that made the dainties of life, that made the beauties of life, that made the flowers, that gave the sense to man to build edifices. That God, when he came to the world, went to the lowest place. You have to identify with him there. That's why he talks about humility. You must identify that regalia of greatness that you put on as a minister that is destroying your life. It's adding to your dryness. Because the Lord is treating everybody like a human being. You want him to treat you differently. No, it's not treating you differently. Who make it to differ from your brother? So, if you will humble yourself and go before the Lord and confess clearly that sin you have committed, you killed. If you can confess it, you committed abortion. If you can confess, you even slept with your daughter. If you can confess that, come down. 
and gave that sin confessed. You join occultism. Confesses. Confesses. You are not wearing black. There's a black cloth under you. Confess it. Confess it. Because the Lord is the one making things hard for you. He said, shut up heaven. Shut there won't be rain upon your life. Humble yourself. Don't mind the shame. Despise the shame. Despise the shame. The Lord wants to visit you again in revival. The Lord wants to visit you again with fresh anointing. The Lord wants to make you an intern army. One of the intern army. The Lord wants to make you. He wants to enroll you to the intern army. For his name. But humble. Humble. Woman. Humble. Humble. No respect of person. No personal greatness. <clears throat> humble. That is where you can meet with him. That is where you can visit. You want to visit Jesus? There. That's where he was born. You got in there. Meet with him there. The first thing he brought from heaven was humility. And that was what is required to save man. Because Satan had preceded him with pride. He had contaminated people with pride. He had contaminated people. So the people are where is shame troubling people is because I don't I don't want them to see my pride to see my nakedness. So that's what Satan has done. He has brought nakedness to them. They're busy covering it. Jesus brought humility. Everybody say Jesus brought humility. Therefore, if the man of God can do what no man did, when he was told. Go to the river Jordan and behave foolishly there. The whole world will hear that you went to river Jordan. The act you are going to do in river Jordan, the whole world will hear. And that is what slaps the, the great man. How can you go to, go to my country, Syria, that I came to behave like I said I am a dog. Internet water coming up, internet water I'm coming up. But you need it. That's where your salvation is. The world will hear the first miracle that never ever happened. The world will hear it that it is it started with you. If you can obey, if my people shall humble themselves. Go to that river, Neymar. Your leprosy will be over. Miracle is waiting at the point of obedience. Miracle is waiting at the point of humility. My sister, miracle is waiting at the point of humility. Amen. If my people, the church now, shall humble themselves, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, the reason of the poverty of the church is the greatness everybody is putting on upon his shoulder. Is every woman is striving for beauty. That is the reason of the poverty of the church. That is what brought the revolt. That is what brought all this weak hope upon you. That's what brought the attachment. It's because of the strife of beauty. That is what brought all these things to you. This painting, these artificials. That is what brought them. If the church, my people, the Lord is bringing revival. If my people shall humble themselves, men and women, humble. Humility is the way that God will follow to the church. Because there must be cleansing first. Humble themselves and will repent. Humble. Cleanse those things out. Remove that mind of beauty, beauty, competition among you. Get those things out. All those jewelry. How much does it cost? If my own is costing this hundred thousand, mine is one million. Get those things out. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray. The devil remove prayer from the church. The devil remove prayer from the man of God. 
Now it's not prayer anymore. It's anointing oil. Is that not so? It's holy water. Why are you praying when everything is inside holy water? They sprinkle it upon you. You don't need prayer anymore. They anoint your head with oil. You don't need prayer anymore. The Lord said, drop all those things. Come back to prayer. Come back to prayer and faith. Not those idols that are taking your faith from me. The handkerchiefs. The head ball. You went to the hospital to visit a sick man and you went with April. He said, I will cover you with April. And we're expecting one a miracle in the morning. Try it. Trust those things off. Come back to prayer. That is the path of God. I have ordained it so. Pray, I will hear you. Ask and it shall be given you. It's not a symbol. Not a symbol, not a substance, not the sprinkling of oil, not handkerchief, not carrying sand from Jerusalem, not holy water from the Dead Sea, not from not those things. Pray. Come back to prayer. Throw those things away. Throw those things away. They dampen your feet. They are idols. The just shall live by faith and not by holy water. The just shall live by faith and not by anointing oil. The just shall live by faith and not by handkerchief. You are throwing handkerchief to people. Hey, I'm throwing something now. A mantle. I'm throwing it to you. You catch and you fall down. You rise back and have more demons than you had before. Get your things out of the church. Anointing oil restricted to the sick and not common. Not common. Not common. Not common even in the Acts of Apostles. You never heard of Paul. You never have heard of Peter. Very scanty. In fact, the very sick. Let them call for the elders. And yet it's not mandatory. Then why has it become too much over your life? Today instead of anointing for service, anointing for ministry, anointing for marriage, anointing for childbearing, anointing for all. Those are the corruptings. Weakening the faith of members. Instead of facing God, going to travel. As a woman traveling to give birth. They say, drink it. So, if my people, who shall call by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face. Seeking the face of God means staying there. He will tell you the things you need to remove. Remove them. He will tell you the things to do. Do them. You are seeking his face. You are seeking his, his righteousness. Seeking the face of God means seeking his righteousness. Seek face the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Come back to this. Come back. Everyone is full of prayer of deliverance. 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 Pastor, I have not married and I am 32 years old. Don't you tell me deliverance? Are you the only one that has not married? You are not aware of the state of the world today? Pastor, I finished my school for about 20 years now and I have not got a job. Don't you think my uncle is behind this thing? What happened? Why are you doing like that to your uncle? Why are you trying to give a bad name to your uncle? Do you know the number of all employed people we have in this nation? Let them call them to come. Let, go and meet yourself in Abuja. You will know that your uncle has nothing to do with your own employment. The jobs are not enough. The government is even crying. Universities are graduating so many people. And the jobs are not there. So where are you that time? Deliverance all the time. Deliverance. Deliverance. All you are looking for. Deliverance. Let them deliver you. Let them deliver you. Let them deliver you. Seek the face of God. Seek His righteousness. And turn from their wicked ways. All the 
this wicked thing you're doing in the church wicked dancing corrupt dancing and jubilation of satan that you're doing people are not born again and making you to be jumping up and down get those corrupting off let them cease i'm talking about end time revival that the lord is preparing for end time revival this is the condition and he will come to any church that's his power this is the condition and turn from the wicked way then will i hear from heaven then will i hear from heaven otherwise all those noise you're making in the church is a lie all those promises they're promising you you will be like this you will be like it's a lie it will not happen because the conditions are not followed but here are the conditions listen if you will not obey these conditions others will obey it if your denomination you say no we will not obey i watch it other denominations shall obey it to your surprise and the lord shall come to them Amen. i said the lord shall come to them Amen. you think it's too difficult people are keeping these commandments people are keeping it they are obeying it holy ghost is touching them and they're submitting submit turn your back you are the last person in that line submit look back nobody again is beside you you're the last you think that ah, it cannot be done many have done it many are doing it joy so that's what the lord is saying the condition for forgiveness the condition for revival the condition that dry bones will leave they ye shall pray and i shall say here am i i shall say here am i the way is open where you have removed all these things out of your life yes again waited upon the lord in isaiah i'm talking about revival dry bones arise dry bones arise <laughs> isaiah chapter 40 from verse 27 isaiah chapter 40 from verse 27 where says thou O jacob and speakest O israel my way is hid from the lord and my judgment is passed over from my god why are you saying god doesn't see me god doesn't hear me god has left me my life is dry i am praying he's not hearing i am calling upon him he's not hearing where says thou wow Has thou not heard? Has thou not known? Has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the Creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. God has not resigned. I said, I'm not going to do anything. I'm too tired. Please leave me alone. You people are disturbing me. I'm tired. Since morning, I've not rested. That's not God. You didn't hear that God is a super person. You didn't hear that God is omnipresent everywhere. You didn't hear that God is omnipotent. All power belongs to him. You didn't hear that God is omniscience. That he knows everything. He gave it power to defend. Hmm. Power will come. He give it power to defend. That's why he said, go and prophesy, son of man. Tell the dry bones, I'm going to carry out an oppression in their life, in their life, and they shall live. You are confused, you are so disturbed because your life is marked. That's, your life has been twisted. You are thinking you won't make heaven. The Lord said he is going to carry out an oppression in your life. 
you'll be surprised you're going to be in heaven this is God has done it for many he's a specialist in miracle he's a specialist in mercy he's a specialist in a specialist in forgiveness he knows how to do it he's a specialist in deliverance he's a specialist so don't trust him he gives strength he gives strength to defend and to them that have no mind he increases strength they don't even have any strength at all he gives it in an increasing way to them this is God that's why there is hope that's why there is hope it comes from him he gives it yes even the youths shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fail shall utterly fall those who want to use their own carnal strength their power they shall be weary they shall faint but see it what the Lord is calling you into see it what the Lord is calling the church into but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint remember we're talking about revival the revival we're not we're talking about that is coming is not the revival of motor car it's not the revival of building houses it's not the revival of money it's the revival of spirituality wait let let the church wait upon the lord night vigils are good good moments fasting and prayer good moments even the prolonged of course you want the well directed not just moving in prayer and fasting anyhow to your damage without the guidance of the holy spirit fasting and prayer good as it is but the people have been fasting on a different thing they are not waiting on the lord for righteousness if the number of fasting that have been going and prayer that have been going on in catholic church were on god show us the way god show us the way the answer would have come and they would have seen wonders in catholic church but you are praying for another thing if the fasting and prayer that comes up in some of these churches if the fasting and prayer that comes up in your church were geared towards righteousness we're here towards holiness pleading with the gospel alone and say oh lord have mercy on me show me the way i want to please you the church wants to please you the church wants to serve you is that where the fasting and prayer you were doing is that where the night vigil you were doing you would have seen revival in that church but you are fasting for money you are fasting for deliverance deliverance over a demon that is not there even you're fasting for or oh, deliverance over demons that come because of your ignorance you contract them by your sinful life they stand online you go as this one is coming in you enter it's a cycle where would that cycle finish it's a cycle a cycle has no end that's why the demons are casting out from you don't have end one is going there one is coming in what the, 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 your works your life your evil if that fasting that you were doing that you that group of people were doing was for righteousness as simeon fasted looking for the salvation of the lord as anna fasted in the temple looking for the salvation of the lord if that was the fasting your eyes would have seen jesus your eyes would have seen him but we are not fasting for that we are fasting for strife and debate Lord, we want anointing and 
anointing is different from righteousness anointing doesn't take to heaven it is righteousness and holiness that takes to heaven and you are fasting for the wrong thing you are fasting for the wrong thing let the church wait upon the lord let the church wait upon the lord let the men the women and the children cry out to heaven lord you take yourself in righteousness lord let your holiness be seen you will see it minister of the gospel you are fasting for strife and debate they that wait upon the lord when you were waiting upon the lord what were you asking for money to build church you were asking for money to build church were you asking for real righteousness were you pleading before god reveal myself unto me seek search me and know my ways and see whether there be any evil way in me any evil thing in me direct my step around was that your fasting and prayer was that your cry for one year was that your cry for five years your life would have not known all this dryness you're seeing the Lord would have answered. You would have prayed in the right course and you would have attracted the Lord. He would have appeared to you. Even these Muslims, let a Muslim who come up and say, I am confused. Which person is the Savior? I'm hearing is Jesus Christ. But my people are telling me it's another person. God. Are you, are you must hear me because he that created me has ears for I have ears what is the right way who is the right person let a Muslim ask that and Jesus will appear to him but you are not praying that prayer you are praying vain prayer you are praying prayer of uselessness you are asking material things that cannot take to heaven material sin that cannot make you do the will of God you are asking God to bribe you God must pay you for every little service so see God I have sown the seeds who seeds I have sown said God you must bless me they turn the gospel into market business buying shares you are sowing seed you can't freely give to God he must give you back what a bad child that's a father this money i'm giving you you are giving it back to me father i'm buying car for you now this car that i am buying for you be sure you are going to give me five cars that's what you do to god all the money your father paid in for you for your school that made you to become who you are you are not even thinking of appreciating him everything is gain corrupt mind the third godliness is gain can you see it now you have been praying wrongly you are waiting upon the lord wrongly you are all concerned with god give me husband that god give me heaven god give me wife that god give me heaven god give me child that god give me righteousness you are praying on the wrong way no progress in your life don't do that anymore revival is coming i say revival is coming when the lord wanted to send samuel to israel he made a woman to stay with that child to cause the woman to pray and get to the mind of god then the child shall come forth what did she say give me a man child and i will release him for revival he got it she got it why are you so full of your soul full of materiality god you know i'm ashamed now i don't want my mates riding car god are you righteous all your mates are sinners why not try to be different from them why not pray make me different today your prayer shall change i said today the prayer of the church shall change are you that need prayers 
in your churches you are going to turn them to another dimension now i say you will turn them to another dimension now as everybody begins to cry to heaven for righteousness for holiness for righteousness oh lord holiness righteousness you will see the wind you talk the four winds oh pray prophesy i say oh we come from the four winds and enter into this flame as you are praying winds of life winds of revival shall come upon the churches of christ shall come upon the ministers of christ shall come upon members of the church and your life and there shall be a difference we shall have an exceeding great army wait upon the lord wait upon the lord there i'm telling you what the lord is saying dry bones shall leave there shall be revival again that's what god is promising us call upon his name wait upon him to a better than one ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 9 to verse 12 Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 9 to verse 12 the Bible says two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor for if they fall the one will lift up his fellow but woe to him that is alone when he falleth for he hath not another to help him again if two lie together then they have heat but how can one be warm alone and if one prevail against him two shall withstand him and a threefold court is not quickly broken the lord is saying children learn to be together children learn to be together forsake not the assembling of yourselves together the revive how will revival come when you stay alone do you use one firewood to cook something on fire come together together unite go together you will have heat the praise as you are you team up together satan shall be afraid but you stay there we are a denomination we don't have anything to do with any other our good is ours our evils are ours you will not see when good comes when the devil begins to attack you there will be no help because you stay aside you refuse to get damage. you refuse to exercise love the love that attracts people the love that is a grace that makes relationship free you refuse it how will you see revival is god only for you is this jesus only for you were you the only people he created in this life were you the only people he died for my church your church you want to struggle with jesus over his church you want to struggle with jesus upon this road and build my church my church are you carrying it to be your own and begin to put pride upon the people we are better and best we are the higher and highest pride going before you fall that's it the revival that is coming is the revival upon the doctrines of righteousness father i pray that they may be one 
Did that prayer cover your church? I said, did it cover your denomination? Then why are you not uniting? Why are you not seeking how you could be one with others in righteousness? Why are you not permitting others who are practicing this righteousness to come in? Because the Lord says, to a bigger the world. They will revive a when they are in a team of people. Why are you not permitting it? The revival of the end time is the revival that is coming out of church unity. Out of people that believe in something. That void, that, that is beauty. The Bible says, below, how good and pleasant it is for brethren, the church, to be together in unity. It's beautiful to see. For there, the Lord commanded the blessing, even lie forevermore. Bring in your people into Christian unity. Teach them to believe the something. Bring in your people in Christian love. Teach them to be patient with their brethren. Teach them to encourage their brethren. For we are one. Everybody say it. The revival the Lord is bringing is not the revival that you think is your church only. It's your denomination only. It's your tribe only. It's your village only. It is international revival. It's a world revival. World revival that's bringing bones to bones. Bringing bones to bones. Denomination to denomination. It's forming them. They come together and they form one body. One body. One body. Waiting to receive Jesus from heaven. That is the revival of the end time. The revival of church unity based upon the truth of scripture. That is it. Dry bones shall live. Why don't you take? Why do you think that the church is the will of God for church? The church remain in darkness. The church remain in weakness. The church remain in defeat. No. The strength God has given your church. Come in and share with others. Let Moses anointing be given to seventy-two others. Then the work will be done peaceful. Hallelujah. Why are you resisting Christian unity? Why are you training people to resist Christian unity? Why are you training people to abuse ministers of the gospel that God has raised them up to, uh, to promote Christian unity upon the doctrines of scripture? Why are you adding into it? That's not the will of God. That's not the plan of God for this end time. Yes. That's what we are saying. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Receive the heavenly vision. I say receive the heavenly vision. The Bible says, where no vision is, the people perish. Where no vision is. You're just living the life without direction. There's a heavenly vision. We are pursuing the vision of holiness. We have heard the voice of the Lord from heaven. The vision of holiness, the vision of righteousness, all this cleansing that you are seeing women doing from church to church, it is heavenly vision. It came from heaven. The Lord sent it down because it is in time. Receive it. I said, receive it. Let your church receive it. Don't be disobedient to the heavenly vision. In the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 26. Acts of Apostles, chapter 26, verse 19. The Bible tells us, Where upon all King Agrippa, I was not disobedient unto the heavenly vision. It's God that is doing this. It's God that has commanded this. It's God that has instructed this. It is the vision of heaven. According to the plan of heaven. After the plan of God. We are here. 
godliness revival movement worldwide this is a heavenly vision the lord wants the church to come together this commission has been given to us this calling has been given to us and the lord is working with us as you have seen it's not of our power it's not of our making but he revealed it from heaven he gives it it is the vision of heaven how people whose mind have been on earth the lord wants them to think of heaven now he wants them to think of heaven now so take this vision that is raising up people's heart from the earth to heaven join it join it people didn't know of hell before many people didn't know that hell existed if they knew it it didn't mean anything one of these boys now one of these brethren talk about going to one of these churches he said it was he preached to the youth, the youth there and then the youth said i was talking about if you do this thing, you go to hell eh? hell Where, which place is that is there a place what is it can you imagine that but now the Lord has filled everywhere with the knowledge of hell and by that has pushed their hearts to heaven everybody said no I don't want to go to hell I am going to heaven I don't want to do this because I don't want to go to hell I'm going to heaven I don't want to do this dressing I don't want to go to hell I want to go to heaven I want to do my restitution I don't want to go to hell I want to go to heaven this is heavenly vision join it do it it is the will of God for you don't resist this ministry it is a heavenly vision. God gave it. God gave it. God gave it. It's part of the revival of the end time. It's the work of God. Whoever has the the Bible says he that has the bride is the bridegroom. He that has the bride is the bridegroom. A man cannot can do nothing until it is given to him from above join it release yourself for this move with the movement release yourself for it move with the movement it's not for man the temple is not for man but for god this movement is not for man but for god it came from god part of the revival two are better than one overcome the flesh overcome the flesh the problem has been the flesh the problem has been the flesh crucify the flesh crucify your appetite humble yourself overcome the flesh the desires of the flesh The lust of the flesh. Yield to the Holy Spirit. Seek the things that belong to heaven. Seek the things that are of the Holy Spirit. See the sighing of the Spirit in you. The groaning of the Holy Ghost that is in your heart. Follow it. Drop the flesh. The world. All the pleasures of the world. You're looking at the world. You're looking at the world. Every, you, all your eyes are on the things of the world. Today you will change. Amen. Today you will look at the things of heaven. Amen. Because heaven is already coming. Heaven is soon downing upon the earth. A hunter went hunting and got the egg of an eagle and came and laid it along with the eggs of chicken. The chicken, the hen, hatched both the the chicks and the eagle they were moving together the chicken looked upon the earth and were picking things here and there the eagle knew that i'm not for this place i am for heaven i have come here because there are eagles in this place i say there are eagles in this place when the eagles move for the chicken it picks here and picks here there's a sighing inside it it's not supposed to be my nature 
my spirit inside me is telling me this is not where I belong then it lifted up its eyes into the sky and saw eagles flying in the sky yes brother you will join us we are flying in the sky my sister you will fly up and join us we are flying in the sky in foolish no my home i am just a passing through if heaven is not my home oh lord what will i do the angels beckon me from heavens open doors and i can feel at home in this world anymore lord oh you know i have no friend like you if heaven is not my own oh lord what will i do and they just beckon me to heaven's open doors and i can feel at home in this world anymore we're calling you for heaven let your heart go to heaven let your heart be in heaven let your eyes be in heaven i say let your heart be in heaven we don't belong to this world that's what we want to tell you you don't belong one day because the, the hunter kept on claiming the wings of the eagle one day the hunter forgot and the devil has forgotten the devil forgot you today yeah. i said the devil forgot you today yeah. the hunter forgot to claim the wings of that eagle then an eagle from the sky flew down because they saw their brother over there where are you here we are not on the earth we are not living in the earth the lord has given us wings to fly the lord has given us calling to be high it is a higher calling it is a heavenly calling we are not supposed to be on the earth the eagle flew down and blew upon this young eagle then the eagle jumped up and began to flap the wings the nature assisted it the wind came and blew it up and that is what it how it was going that is how you are how you are going now i'm saying you are going up now i say you are going up you are going up you will enter heaven you are going up now by the power of god your chains are broken your your yokes are broken the lord has set you free you are for heaven you are for heaven you are for heaven no more for this earth you have received a heavenly calling it's a high calling you are not for this earth anymore that's what you need to understand yes give yourself to the word of god give yourself to praying to studying listening to the world listening to all these recorded messages they are available for you to buy the books are there study them take time to pray pray the lord pray with others join church night vigils pray fast do all to make sure you enter heaven do all to make sure you enter in heaven be in association of the righteous listen to godly messages listen to godly preachers preachers of end time god has rushed them to rest to release people from the bondage of the devil and get them ready for heaven some new things are happening i'm telling you the climate of the world is changing the climate of the world is changing because the court of heaven is already coming the world is shaking already the devil is already aware and he has told his people what first i can i can i can smell the son of god coming i can smell it jesus is already coming he is coming already we can see it we're feeling it in our body our spirit dreams of the rapture are everywhere who is here who has done dreamt of the rapture are you here you dreamt of the rapture that jesus was coming at the rapture to place just wave your hand that's the language that's the language god sends from heaven to tell us that the earth is coming to an end to tell us that the rapture is soon taking place therefore get ready for heaven get 
victory for heaven. Be the successor of the righteous. Rise up upon your feet and face the revival of the end time. Prepare yourself. Let all the churches prepare themselves to take the revival of the end time. There's no more time. This world is no more home. for revival. Cry for revival. Now revive your church. Dry wounds must leave. Dry wounds must leave. Dry wounds must leave.
सके Something must happen there. Let them not say their hope is gone. Let nobody say their hope is gone. We are going to pray that God will go and get his own. Dry bones there shall live. God shall get his own. Lift up the Catholic Church to God. Lift them up. Lift them up. Visit them again. Visit them all. 
appear. No, cease those customs. Cause them to cease. Cause them to cease. Let the members believe in Jesus. Let them believe in holiness. All those doctrines, go on the contrary to scripture. Get them wiped out. Let the people submit to the Bible. Jesus. 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 Oh, 
magnificent. Go! Get the weapon! Get them discovered! Get into the ground and remove the demonic property out of your church! No! Jesus! Jesus! March into the church! March there! March there! March there! Into the church!
pastors and evangelists in the gospel of Christ. Revival is coming upon them. Whether they are white or black, a new thing must be done upon them. Because the end time revival needs end time preachers of righteousness. We are going to commit them from the north to the east, from the south to the west. Preachers of the churches of God, they shall change. They shall be revived. God, commit them unto the Lord and pray. Visit your ministers. Visit your ministers. Oh Lord, visit your ministers.
Muchos habitantes In Jesus name We pray Just lay hand upon your soul Your miracle is your own You are receiving your miracle tonight In Jesus name We pray Just 
cross. People that don't go to church in this town, they shall go to church. I say they shall go to church. Angels shall evangelize them. They shall invite them to churches. When they see invitation card, they shall follow. Let your church go. You real man of God, I decree it now. You sincere man of God, your church must go. I decree it now. Thank you, Jesus. Worship you, Lord. I worship you, Lord. It is done. 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 In the name of Jesus. All devils, powers of witchcraft, powers of occultism, fire. We break you down. We destroy your power. We destroy your power. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we break the power down. We break the power down. All those who are filled up with shot, I command, sir. I command to. All of those people who are having hope spirit husbands, I think you your deliverance. The power of God is working. 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 Let the walls of Jericho fall down. The walls of Jericho fall down. Let the walls of Jericho fall down. Let the walls of Jericho fall down. By the power of the Holy Ghost, you demons disappear. I said demons disappear. I said demons get out. You evil spirit come out. In the name of Jesus. 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 We cover everybody with the blood of Jesus. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Your life must not be the same again. Your life must not be the same again. Righteousness must enter into your heart. Sinners will give their lives to Christ now. Now you know you have not sincerely given your life to Christ. You will do it now. We are praying for you. Chains will be broken in your life. Righteousness will take over. Can you raise up that hand? Raise it up. Righteousness will take over. Righteousness will take over. Into my heart. Into my message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, 
production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages, or inquiry, contact us on 0813-635-6813 and 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, holinessrevivalmovement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world, that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. You are the living Savior. I believe. Yeah.
Oh uh-huh. 